this last week. Wow. Just just watching incredibly rich people lose their minds live and in color. Just rich dudes night in their pants for everybody to see. If uh, if you don't understand what we're referring to, Kanye West um went on a a sort of abrupt media tour started on a youtuber right winging jack nice. and, and started saying things about the jews which it's it's always it's never the jewish people if you're talking no. about it's the jews but um he started going off on that walked out when he got the slightest teeniest bit of pushback went over to alex jones on the wars and uh Left Alex Jones flailing. That was the beautiful part. Left Alex Jones flailing around after proclaiming live on the air, I like Hitler. You really got to think. You really, really got to think. How fucked do you have to be to leave Alex Jones stammering to try to fix your... Oh, it was beautiful because Kanye has more money and more popularity than Alex Jones will ever have. He was the beta. He was the beta cuck. He was, he was, he was, he was the beta. Because he couldn't stop him. He, he was just sort of like, oh no, oh, oh no, I can't, oh no. You, anytime someone says the Jew, like, I, I, I may have mentioned a time or two that I was raised very Catholic. Mm-hmm. And if you've ever been to a Catholic Palm Sunday Mass okay. or the Easter Vigil, you do a live full participation reading of the Passion, of the, of the crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah. And uh, the priest usually gets to play Jesus. <laughs> uh, that, you know, they have various people doing various voices. And your job as the congregation, and it's written this way in the text for you to read is you play the Jews. And your big line is crucify him, crucify him over and over. Wow. Well, like when you're a kid, you don't think anything of it, right? Well, you but know. that yeah, but you know, because when you're a kid, you don't your frontal lobe isn't even fully formed. But like, then you grow up and you're like, that was fucked up. But Kanye, though, is, is, is pretty. Yeah. Like, you don't say I like Hitler. That's not one of those phrases that ever ends well. No. Like, uh, and someone in the channel said this earlier, Hitler only ever did one good thing, and that was he killed Hitler. How is it that our shit is the less fucked up this this week, comparatively? Like Kanye, I mean, we have had some people that like Hitler. Yeah, but this Kanye's stepping on my gig. I'm gonna sue. All right. <laughs> See, go. I don't think we should sue Kanye. I think we should sue Elizabeth Banks because we were not offered a cameo the in Cocaine, cocaine Bear. Yes, yeah, we goddamn should have been. Yeah. We should be in that movie. All right, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And of course, not just What the Fuck is Wrong With You, because, uh, it's uh it's also it's potato vision oh no i had the yeah i clicked the wrong thing it happened it's also no 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 this this it's a uh, come on it's the most controversial time of the year yeah. it's good watch oh, i it's, can't uh, sing what uh for those of you who have been uh following along uh we uh we every year we we look after to see whether or not the Yavla Blokin has been set on fire or not. The the Yavla goat, the, the Christmas Yule 
And uh, let's see, what, where are we right now with 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 the goat? Um, let's check the the live stream cam. Um, they keep running because that's that's what they have to do now to protect it. Well, and, after love, and murder, we have a higher chance of the goat burning this year. Huh? I feel like after love and thunder, we have a higher chance of the yeah, goat burning. This year. Yeah. Well, so far it's still there. The, the goat's there. Is it not majestic? It it exists, so we're checking in. No fire. Love it. I don't know why. Like Netflix does documentaries on the stupidest shit. Yeah. Why is there not a Netflix documentary about this goat? Why not? Because not just like it's it's sorted history, which would also be fascinating, but I want to know how they build it because it looks exactly the same every year. Yeah. It has lights on it, and the lights don't set it on fire, and I imagine they get quite hot, and it's straw. So, like, I would love to know the feat of engineering that creates this go. Uh, has it been censored? Well, what they're doing is that they pixelate the area around it because it's live. They don't want anybody's face on there because they don't want to deal with it. So they pick... This is the, the area around it they have to keep because, you know, people's faces. Google Street View. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's no fire. Let's move on. This one, this is just, this, this first one is, in so many ways, one of the saddest stories. And it, this, this, it, I don't think it gets much sadder than this. First of all, we're starting we with, sad. what? We don't come here to be sad. First of all, we're starting with Chris Christie's niece. I don't know if if you're not an American. Chris Christie used to be the uh, Republican governor of New Jersey, and he's caused uh, scandals and bullshit there. Then he became a Republican. What? And he's the fucking worst. And then he became the uh, Republican toady to Donald Trump until he got sort of stepped on, and now he's sort of pissy about all that. So you're already you're the niece of Chris Christie. So that's that's already kind of sad right there. Yeah, but. Oh boy, but to to take that little shred you have and try to run with it, bless your heart. Chris Christie's niece kicked off New Orleans plane, injured six deputies. Whoa. She asked Baskers she perceived to be Latino if they were, quote, smuggling cocaine. Getting forced off an airplane for asking passengers. Who appeared to her to be Latino, whether they were drug mules, niece of former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, bit, kicked, and spit on Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies, trying to detain her on Thanksgiving Day at Louis Armstrong International Airport. Janet Epstein, 25, boarded the Spirit Airlines flight to New Jersey and asked a family who were near her and whom she perceived to be Latino if they were, quote, smuggling cocaine. Airline workers requested FC be removed from the plane as she became increasingly irate. The plane, which is sorry to taxi on the runway, returned to the gate. Now, there you're on Thanksgiving Day, and people are on a plane, and they're going home, and you're yeah. you're pl you're 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 being a fool. You are starting some shit. So already, and why the fuck? Like I know why you'd assume that, but. but how have you not learned to say why would you do that? Why, 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 okay, why would you just have, how have you not learned to shut the fuck up at this point? Yeah, like you're from New Jersey, which is a pretty fucking multicultural place. It's not like you have never encountered other people before, people that do not look like you. In the scuffle, she injured six deputies biting one wow. on the arm and breaking the skin, and kicked another in the groin. All the while... fucking bite people, dude! All the while, Epstein shouted the deputies were going to lose their jobs and end up in jail, boasting she's related to powerful people, and that her uncle is a friend of Donald Trump. Is he, though? Oh, is honey. He? Your uncle doesn't even have a job right now. Seven deputies were need seven deputies were needed to handcuff Epstein to a wheelchair 
so that she could be moved to the airport security office. She continued to shout vulgarities and try to bite deputies. They booked her on six counts of battering a police officer, three of disturbing peace, one of resisting arrest by force, and one of remaining after forbidden. She paid $10,000 bail, released. Are we confident that she is not patient zero in the zombie outbreak? Maybe. Like, also, have we checked on those deputies? I love are how... They, she... Are they bolting down whole packages of raw meat or something? Because... I don't know about you, but if I kicked a sheriff's deputy in the fucking nuts, I wouldn't be out on bail. She, they, I mean, her uncle, the inventor of toaster strudel, <laughs> would not be very happy to hear about this. They, they wouldn't be letting my ass out the same day. You fuck up a flight for everybody. They just want to get home fucking yeah. Thanksgiving. They have connections it, to make. You're just fucking. Somebody who's flying on Thanksgiving is already annoyed. Yeah. Because they are spending a holiday. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, they're spending probably a day off of work in the airport. And nobody loves that. And you just made it worse. I mean, you put on a hell of a show. I I'm guess. impressed. Six, so, six fucking deputies. And she went all Tasmanian devil on them. That's what I'm saying. Like, do we have like a 20 days later situation on our hands? Except she was shouting, you know, do you know who it's? It was the classic. Do you know who I am? I love that. Because I would love to have the time to drive to NORAD and break in if that's the case. OK, more more airplane stuff from the next one. I want to stress. Before we spoilers, the cat is OK. The cat is fine. Very okay. important. However, I just want you to, to pick. All right. We're going we're gonna to do some role play here. Put in your mind that you are a TSA agent. You're doing your job. You are th the normal shit. They're coming down the, the thing. You got to scan the shit. And oh, you, see, you... you see something on the monitor that comes up that could not be, and yet it is. It's vibrating, but it's not a dildo. <laughs> Airport. Is that better? What? Is that better or worse? I, I, I don't know. Airport staff find cat trapped in suitcase. People take strange things on plane. That's nothing new. Suitcase checked for a journey from New York's JFK to Orlando, Florida, contains some oddities. As it rolled through the x-ray machine, TSA officials could see what appeared to be bottles, wine glasses, a pair of flip-flops, and a life-size outline of a cat. Turned out the outside was life, outline was life size because the cat was a real cat. Ginger alive and apparently unharmed. It's an orange cat, of course. Did not have the brain cell that day. Play where, of course, it could have easily died in the hole in the flight. Now, what happened was the dude, all right, you, you're sitting there going, did someone try to smuggle a cat on the plane? No. This was not their cat. This was their roommate's cat. <laughs> I didn't know that part. And the cat apparently climbed in their suitcase and got zipped in there. And you're sitting there My going, question, how did they not notice? We have a little calico. Her name is, is Lumi. And she, we have to feed her separate from Grady because Grady has special food and we don't want Grady to get, because, you know. So we put her in the bathroom and we give her her food and we close the door and we go away. And sometimes we forget about her because she doesn't make any noise. No, she won't meow to get out. She will just settle down and be like, OK, I live here now. Oh, no. And, and we're like, oh, honey, why did you need to be let out? Like, I was fine. So I, I, I understand. How did they not notice? I can yeah. I can imagine it, the cat just it, not it, making it. You're I live in fear of this with Peggy because all the cats get upset if I pull out a suitcase. Peggy is by far the worst. She gets the most upset. And her solution is to just climb into it repeatedly. <laughs> and Peggy, God love her. She's very pretty. She's not the smartest cat. 
but she's tricky when she wants to be. So like there was one trip we were taking, she had gotten all the way to the back of like a duffel bag we were bringing and curled under some clothes. So like, I guess I shouldn't have asked how could, how this could happen, because, but, but Peggy also hates to be in the car. So once that bag got put in the car, she would have started shouting. Here's here's a picture. So there, there. He's the cat is named Smells. I don't understand. The cat is <laughs> fine. The fur sticking out of the zipper. <laughs> and what do you do about that? Because <laughs> you, you kind of have to leave the cat in there. Yes, you do. Because I don't know how many of you in the audience have ever held a cat. Yeah. Some of them are quite fond of it. Yeah. Literally none of mine can I hold for more than 60 seconds before I get rabbit kicked in the face or maimed in some other way. Like, even cats that like to be held have their limits and will eventually be like, all right, I'm done. And then you have a cat loose in a fucking airport. (laughs) That's also why we drove from New Jersey to Colorado. Because, I don't know, I've watched people do this. If you fly with a cat... You have to take them out of the carrier and run the carrier through the x-ray and hold the cat. And I'm like, we would have two, at least two cats loose in an airport. Burrito. And then I'm, li- I'm going to live in that airport for the rest of my life. Burrito. You, you, you make a bur- kitty burrito. Yeah. But loose cats? Yeah. Ooh. The point is that the fucking is it's an orange. Of course, it's a fucking orange cat. Of course, it is. Did Bless not get the brain cell that day. Oh, uh, speaking of not getting the brain cell that day, let's uh, let's move on to uh, to Georgia. Um, and uh, there's something about putting people online. They they get this sense that of unreality. And do and say things they would not in any other circumstance. And this one is one of those, it's like, wow, you thought this was like World of Warcraft or some shit, didn't you? Uh, how about me? Man comments on most wanted post on Facebook, gets arrested. Shut the fuck up. Georgia man's comments on a sheriff's department's Facebook post help get him arrested this week. Rockdale County Sheriff's po- Office post of its most wanted list caught the eye of Christopher Spaulding, who was moved to comment, quote, how about me? The Sheriff's Office saw it and confirmed Spaulding had two outstanding warrants with the message, we are on the way. Spaulding was arrested Thursday on warrants for felony violation of probation. They should have just typed that. <laughs> There's this magical thing called an IP address. And unless you are tech savvy enough, which I am not, mm. I shouldn't have said that. Please bleep that if you remember. Unless you are tech savvy enough to mask it, people can use it to find you. Yeah. But and, don't fucking find me. And, 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 and Facebook will definitely give your information to law enforcement. Yeah. They've got they've got no problem with that. Like, dude, just, the fuck were you thinking? That they didn't check the shit? They posted the shit! He didn't have the brain cell that day either. He's like hopping up there going, Yo! What about hey. me, yo? That one, all right, here's the thing about a probation violation. You're going back to jail. Yeah, it's 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 really it's not like you're they're going to be going not like there's a new trial. There's a new jury. No, no, no. Your ass is going back to jail. Congrats. And you know what pops super love is people fucking with their egos. Yeah. Yeah. Cops love public humiliation. Yeah, they like so much. They have such a good sense of humor about it. Here's we keep I keep saying this over the years. Do not do their job for them no they suck up so much public money make those motherfuckers earn it not damn right don't be like oh no i'll do it for you is fine you idiot 
We sit and argue vehemently over whether children should get fed at school. Right. But the cops have a tank. Yeah. Make them work for that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. You're going to jail. Oh, we have some more people who just. Why? Oh. Play him with the cops. Um. I have been drunk many times. That's always a good start. That's always a good start. I have never been calling 911 68 times in an hour drunk. Newark man who made 68 calls, 999, found drunk in bed. Man who made 68 calls to 999 over a 90-minute period was later found to be drunk in his bed. Nottinghamshire uh, police uh, said the man consistently rang 999 and hung up on officers when they tried to find out what was wrong. Or search the public only call in an emergency. Um, he told emergency service, quote, he didn't know where he was. <laughs> I can't read the next line. <laughs> and then asked officers for more beer. <laughs> I know we literally just said make them work harder, but that's not in their job description. Honey. I mean, this appears to take place in England, so maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that is in their job description. I feel like it's probably not. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Man, how was your, if I get drunk and I lay down, I'm asleep. How is your ass still awake? See, that's exactly why I don't lay down when I'm drunk. Because if I fall asleep drunk, I wake up and vomit. Ugh. As long, that's, that, I have figured out the formula. As long as I can stay awake until I'm like 90% sober, I'm good. But if I fall asleep still drunk, I will wake up and vomit. Why? 68 times. Were you just redialing the motherfucker? Like, clearly you don't need more beer. Now, I know why. I can tell you exactly why. What happens when you lock your phone? There's only one number you can call. There's only one number you can call when you lock your... He is too drunk to unlock his phone. So the only number he could call was 999. And you know what the saddest part is? Most phones have face ID now. Literally, all you have to do is look at it. <laughs> Unless, like me, you were a contact lens wearer who didn't think about it when she programmed her face ID. So if I have my glasses on, my... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're temperamental that way. Yeah. The phone doesn't know who you are suddenly. It, you know what? What? All smartphones come from Metropolis. You put on glasses, they don't know who the fuck you are. Clark Kent, Superman. Clark Kent, Superman. <laughs> There's a point. Now it all makes sense. How how was he not? A, how you not fucking pass the fuck out? I don't. I, I cannot. If I lay down when I'm drunk, that's it. I'm not getting up. I haven't gotten drunk in so many years, but it used to be it. Once I had, once I was horizontal, I was done. I mean, nothing says he got up. Yeah. But how do you stay awake? Yeah. Fucking right. Here. Yeah, yeah. Can you guys bring me more? I need more Stella. You bring and here's the other thing. Here's the other thing, sweetie. Um, if you're asking them to deliver you more beer, but you don't know where you are, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hard for them to do. Well, they are detectives. <laughs> That's true. There's a there's a there's one to solve. There's a mystery for them. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes and the drunken idiot. <laughs> Do that one with Cumberbatch. 
Indubitably, Watson. It's it's very simple. <laughs> this man is fucking tanked. He's off. He's done. That's all right. Um, more of oblivious. We had a bunch of oblivious motherfuckers with the cops this week. You would think that if you were you were going to the fucking Walmart with the intent to shoplift, that if you saw a cop, you'd be like, maybe I should go to a different Walmart. If you saw two cops, you would be like, I definitely should go to another one. And if you saw three, three cops, you would definitely be like, I should not be in this Walmart ever again with my shoplifting ass. Well, this, and I swear to God, this is not a rerun. Man tries to steal from Walmart during shop with a cop event. St. Cloud, Florida. Authorities in Florida say a man is facing charges after he attempted to steal from a store filled with law enforcement. Osceola County Sheriff's Office reported a suspect attempted to steal from a Walmart in St. Cloud during its annual shop with a clock shop with a cop event for community children. Remind me what shop with a cop is. I kind of don't understand it myself. Okay. All it sounds it sounds to me like it would be very uncomfortable, is what it would be. Yeah. <laughs> According to the sheriff's office, the event included nearly 40 deputies in attendance, along with the forensics team, community service team, and Sheriff Marcos Lopez. The entire fucking police department was in the goddamn Walmart. And these authorities identified the suspect as Brad and shared photos of the man in handcuffs, along with the just, items confiscated. Just Brad? Just Brad. You all know, you know, Brad. I don't even like I That's was Brad. in Target the other day yeah. and they just one of those little miniature Ultas in my Target. Have you seen those? No. Ulta is now like, I don't know if they got bought out or if they're partnered with Target, but some it's like, you know, some JC Penney's. It's the same idea. So in the middle of the Target, there's a little miniature Ulta. And I'll usually peruse through because I love fucking makeup. Um, but they had it that day at the, it's not like walled off or anything, but like the product shelves kind of create walls. And at the little entrance, there were two cops just chilling. Yeah. yeah. And I don't fucking steal. But still, I was like, nope. This, Whatever this, that is, I don't want any part of it. They had, they, they had the fucking forensics people in there. I know. CSI Walmart. <laughs> God, the don't don't ever illuminate all the wall. Oh God, the whole place. It, it's like you can't even discern little. The whole place yeah. just glows. Yeah. If you illuminate all, it's just the entire place lights up. It's like it's it's like you know the fucking. When you look back at the old Superman movies, when they had everybody on Krypton and everyone was wearing white, they turned black lighter. That's what the whole Walmart looks like. The whole fucking Walmart. How the fuck were you like, okay, there's 40 cops here, but I think I got a chance. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hard mode. I am up for it. I'm just just pay to go to an escape room. Yeah, one more tonight, and this is from uh, from England again. Um, it's from Cardiff. Wow. I'm a, I'm a little impressed. I hope I am this spry when I when this old I get. Holy shit. Naked granddad trashes hotel room while high on drugs, calling causing forty eight thousand pounds of damage. That's pounds as in money, not pounds as in you know weight, but probably that too. A drugged up grandfather caused caused forty eight thousand pounds. Okay, well, he's fifty two. Hmm. They make it sound like he's ninety. Yeah, fifty two. 
The hotel owner found him naked with the shower running after guests complained of leaking water. Michael Turner, 52, was staying at the Heritage Hotel when co-owner Dale Smith received a call from a resident about leaks coming from the ceiling. Um, upon their arrival, Mr. Smith entered the room and discovered it had been completely trashed. A desk and a wardrobe had damaged, a glass of shower had been smashed and pulled in the living area. The shower was still running and leaking heavily through the floor. Um, and he, we have pictures. There, oh. there, there's Mr. Turner. And there's what Mr. Turner did. He went full goblin mode. Just holy shit. He really ripped the shower door off and brought it into the next room. He, Why? I don't know. It was his friend. Um, they were going to go out for drinks later. He just kablam. Kablimablam. Turner was naked, incoherent, and appeared to be under the influence of drink and drugs. He was arrested, but denied being responsible for the, causing the damage, describing the room as being, quote, in perfect condition the previous night. The defendant later said he, quote, can't remember committing the offense. Well, no well, shit. I until I bought this cute little mogwai, <laughs> and he got hungry. <laughs> And then he ripped the shower door off. And then the shower was leaking and it wasn't a cute little mogwai anymore. Oh. What the fuck were you what were what were you on? Whole just the whole thing is nasty too. Just Jesus Christ. Oh. In what? I'm impressed because he did this in one night. Just going to say, how do you even do that in one night? Goblin mode. That's all I can think. Why is there a box of paper? I don't know. I, oh, I want to point out, you can tell he's British because even though he was fucking out of his fucking mind on drinking and drugs, the kettle is fine. The kettle is absolutely. If you look, there's a teacup on top of what yes. might be a computer monitor. <laughs> so, had time for a cuppa. <laughs> can't, can't fuck. Jeez, us H. And I know people are there are going to go, he's not England, that's Wales. I know, okay? Get back to me when you get independence, all right? Um, <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, fuck the you know, we, Anyway, we, we have friends in Derry. We do. Yeah. Just saying. Anyway, fuck the king. Anyway, um, just motherfucker. I'm impressed. A little. I mean, it's oh. a terrible. It, it's like, you know. When, when, when you do something like you completely fuck something up, but you're sitting there going, man, I really fucked that up. I mean, if you're going to fuck everything up, you fuck everything up. And that that is that is the mugshot of. Well. OK, here I am. Me one hotel room zero. <laughs> What happened? Like I've I've I, I'm not I've drunk alone. I've gotten drunk alone. I've never destroyed my own living I, I've been drunk at hotels alone. And I've never like wrecked the fucking place. I don't think I ever have gotten drunk alone. Because I don't like the taste of most alcohol, so I really only drink if I'm in a social setting. I don't I will just and do edibles. I don't like the hard liquor. I like the beer. I haven't had beer in a while. So. You don't like beer. I love beer. I just sit home and have my little strawberry margarita gummies. Oh my god. Fucking hell. I'm impressed though. And he's somebody's grandpa. So Jesus Christ. Mommy, yeah. where's grandpa? Well, about that. So the next time grandpa tells you to clean your room, you tell grandpa to go fuck himself. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, so the first thing we learned uh, we, we we learned this week is age is just a number. You can still fuck up shit at well into you know late getting older. Fifty two. Dan was fifty two. Yeah. Dan could have fucked up a hotel room. Like that's, that's not true. that old. We're we're not that far from fifty two. Yeah. So I am loath to call it elderly. You're only as old as you feel, and if you feel like fucking up a hotel room. Sure. There you go. Um, we've learned this week. Uh, if the fucking Walmart is quite literally mostly cops, oh, put the Snickers back. That's not a fun challenge. Like I'm just imagining this guy walking out with like a big screen on his back. You know, <laughs> go big or go home, right? We've learned that if you can't unlock your phone, if you're that drunk, you probably shouldn't be calling anyone anyway. Right. No one wants to hear from you. No. Uh, we have learned that Facebook will rat your ass out, dumbass. Zuckerberg ain't gonna protect you. We learned if you have an orange cat in your home, double check your luggage. They are dumb as hell. I mean, we love them, but they bless their fucking hearts. And finally, we've learned that there is something sadder than being Chris Christie, and that is being Chris Christie's niece. And thinking it means something. Right? It's not like, you're not Fergie, honey. Okay? Yeah. 